I'm not mad. No, oh, nervous, yeah, very nervous. You wouldn't believe how nervous, but mad, not mad. My crime, if you dare to call it that now, now that released me from the madness. I listened with the care of a matron and with a patience of a saint. I mean, this is not a sign of a man who's knocking at the door of madness. No, only, only a sane man could undertake the undertaker's deed or a deed of wells. Such undertaking. I hated it. The victim. If you dare to call him that. <laughs> Alan is my stepfather. <laughs> he didn't look after my mother when she was ill. And he didn't take care for me when I was young. Or Alan is getting the godly treatment from me. It's not always a good idea. Godly Hands meaning the same really treatment nice God gave my source, mother. She was ill and he took her. So I will take him. He must of course be ill. I mean to look upon him reeks of illness. He surely needs curing. And who better or more fitting than I? I'm in the slight bias in the matter, of course. I mean, I, I, I really don't like Alan. But he is ill, and I need to do what Mother would have wanted. The same thing. It's not always a good idea. Not to get out of hand at all. So, I buried him. I mean, the only repercussion really is this. Well, it's, it's this ringing to us, almost pounding. Oh, I'm not so sure. But it's tinnitus, but, but beeping and beating. I mean, I took the first reasonable step by calling the police. I'm, I'm complaining about the boy who's next door. He just... He keeps on drumming so loud all day and all night. I can even feel it through the floors. Just send someone round and stop him playing drums. Of course, the most obvious thing after that is the cops. I mean, I even tried spending some time outdoors to clear my mind and, and therefore, hopefully, my ears. But only briefly. I hate outdoors, really. Doug, is your daddy? Yeah? No? Do you know who complained about my boy playing drums? Oh, I... I... I declined. Dougie's not here, he's on a school trip! Sorry? Nice, wasn't there? I have to go, I'm very busy. Don't you understand, Doug? He's not here! Just tell me next time. Alright. It's Douglas, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm very busy. It's DCI Jones? Do you mind if I come in? Have a chat about your dad. I'm really just here to see Alan. So, can you help me? Oh, oh, what, what do you need to speak to him about anyway? Is it about me? If it is, I might be able, able to help you. Alan 
was in a fight last week and he had to come to the station yesterday about it. He didn't. And I'm just chasing him up. That, that infernal beating from hell. Oh, it's, it's getting unbearable. Are you okay here? Yeah. Since my mother died, I've just been kind of alone anyway, so I'm used to it. Thanks anyway. Is that it? I can't believe how I feel. Almost guilty. Doug, are you okay? But they tricked me. Did they know what I'd done? Oh, impossible. Could they hear the heartbeat? Doug, what's the matter? Can you, can you can you hear something? It's it's like the it's like beating. Nothing, Douglas. How do you mean beating? Uh, I'm not not so sure. Thanks. Can you go now, please? I ain't leaving till you're okay, Doug. He suspects. He knows. He's toying with me. Can, 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 he, can you feel the floor? It's like... Oh, I'm beating! Calm down, Douglas. Tell me what's wrong. Nothing's the matter!